That's uh, I find I find that curious. I I don't decide player of the game. You don't. I'm on desk. Clearly. I'm on desk. Uh, game two though coming up here. Elevate, trying to find their fifth win in the pro league. They're I mean they're already guaranteed for eighth, but maybe trying to play a little bit of spoiler here. Eager already confirmed for second seed with that first win against Elevate. They win any tiebreaker versus Cloud Nine, being three and one during the pro league. Bands coming through. Sir Ket taken out. Uh, we might see some spicy stuff from Eager here. Yeah, you think it's spice time? I mean, they, they have How spicy? Like Robin spicy? I would actually really like a Robin. You want some little curry spice maybe? Oh, I could feel a Robin. I don't know if they're going to run him, but that's, <laughs> that's spice, right? You're that's, guaranteed that's spicy? nothing's changing. How many peppers, Kevin? Four. Is a four pepper? Wow, that's it's really four spicy. Pepper. I mean, that's Robin, great. he hasn't been run yet. He's been out forever. I yeah. think it's, is he the only god who hasn't been run this fall split? Uh, I, yeah, because Anubis was played. Yeah. Mace, and then one other played him. Maybe, yeah. And maybe just mess, just the Cupid's been played. Blanca. The typical, like, low ends have all been played. Naja found right, Naja got, rise. got his day in the sun. I, I think Robin's the only god we haven't seen. Oh, man. Who's going to bring it out? Omega or Dare to Kill? Or Lass. Not Lass. No, not Lass. It would be, it's probably not Omega. I, like, Omega doesn't pick things that are spicy and fun. It's got to be Dare to Care. It would have to be Dare to Care. But I feel like he doesn't really pick super you spicy what, either. First pick Rama, okay. That's going as out. Maybe. I guess Zap just decided he want to play Rom today. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's he's like, birthday. he probably, he probably like, forwarded okay, the party. For you, we're going to first pick your god because it's your birthday. <laughs> uh, Elevate looking to respond here. Still trying to find uh, at least something. Um, as really the best way to describe it here. What uh, can Zeus, they do, Kevin? Zeus is up. If they want to go that, although Aduro, I, I think it's like Elevate's play style. They can't run gods like Zeus. It's just like they can't because all their front lines just dive and just want to fight all the time and don't really play peel or protect at all. Met Yankee, so like, will engage. And then Metharia <laughs> is like trying to fight someone. Vasilis is like 1v1ing off to the side. And then Unrelinquished or Scarity are just tunnel visioning usually. Well, now we're, we're going to get to see Derek play something a little bit different. Maybe uh, maybe the Awilish or something like that with Naja, Sirket, Thor off the board, his normal haunts. Back over to I, Eager here. I want to see Robin. Hey, hey, hey they're going to pick the dog, the lazy right. dog? That's, that's, There's last, the spice last right is there. like, all right, we're, we're secured. Let's Hell go. Hell yeah, boys. I honestly think their players are just going to play whatever they want. Like, there's there's not going to be a team comp. They're just like, all right, pick your favorite god. So pick whatever god you want to play, right? No strategy, just like, we're just going to win off skill. All right. Aphrodite locked in. So that's, that's going, going to, to Omega. Omega. Yeah. That's been a long time. Since he actually, so he actually, uh, his favorite are uh, assassins, I believe, like Habwa, Loki, yeah. Mercury. But he's like, he, I can't play him because the meta. It sucks. So you're going to pick Aphrodite? Apparently. I mean, he's playing solo lane Anubis. I mean, it's jungle Anubis. Ooh, jungle Anubis? Jungle, okay. jungle Anubis. Okay, Arachne coming off from Elevate. I think they're running Spice Boys. Everyone's too. having fun. It's, come on, this is this this is the last game. Looks like we're on the train teams. to Clown Town, Kevin. Neither of them are changing anything, right? Their, their standings aren't changing. Time to just let it all loose here. Uh, pass ban coming up from Elevate. I feel like. Oh yeah, what are you gonna ban against this? So, one? so the last time, um, so the last time Elevate passed their ban, it was because Narian DC'd from their mumble when they were going when they're talking to picks and bans, uh. and the team panicked and didn't know what to pick in time, so they just didn't pick anything. Okay. Turn up. Eager, banning away their last god could could be anything at this point. Capri maybe just because he's annoying. No Sobek, they're like no Matt Yankee. Yeah. Sobek slows down the pace. Sobek is actually really good against Anubis too, right? If you could find, a, if you could find a pluck on Anubis and put oh, him out yeah. of position, he's almost guaranteed dead. But that—that's the case for lots of gods. That's true, especially for Anubis though. No movement speed. Well, I'm saying lots of gods are particularly good at killing Anubis. Okay. Yeah. Like most. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chalk gonna be locked in for the soul lane, unrelinquished more than likely. Wait, what? All right. So Chalk, Chalk or Thor support right now. Yes. Okay. On her. Okay. So, Lass is playing Rama? Or maybe Omega. Didn't Omega play, like, a game or two of Hunter? No, I don't think I've ever seen him play Hunter in Solo. Like, not in, like, an SPL or official I think, game. I think he played one game in an SPL. This season? On Eager or on a different team? I think it was on... On Cloud9? I think it was Eager. Okay. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm going to make that up. But he is a, an avid on her player. Oh, yes. He, Big he, time he, lo he loves Joust. Yeah. So, honestly, if I'm looking at the what Jouster, I'm going on her. Or we could have, you know, we could just have Dare to Care Salt, like, jungle on her. Jungle on her can work. Ish. 
Like, he can, you can kill the camps. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, the only thing I know is that Zatman is either playing Rommer on her. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing like, I'm pretty sure on. Yeah. And I could, it's probably going to be wrong, right? He's probably playing, like, Osiris. It's like Osiris Afro Duo. Rom Jungle. Rom Jungle. Oh, on her jungle, Rom Solo. <laughs> Something. And there's the Hubla. See, All right. All right, this is, yeah. Getting swifty out it's, here. We're Spice Boys. Yeah. No, no, two Hunters for Eager, no Hunters for Elevate. Who wins? I hear a lot of giggling going on. Oh, yeah, I hear production. In, They're going. In the in the house here. There's lots of giggling in the house. Something, there's there's some Spice. That man is playing a Hunter, I was correct. Oh, it's his mid lane Anubis. That makes me happy, though. Thanks, Lassus. I'm sure he did that for me. I, I feel like he did it for I himself. Like I'm not going to lie. He, he, lo he actually loves Anubis. He plays a lot of it. I need my dog Anubis. I know. Your dog's awesome. It's named Anubis. There to care. Jungling Osiris, a god that uh, we jungle. have seen jungle before, although not in oh, not this my, split. Oh, my. Not Is that a meditation season? that you're hovering over there for Aphrodite? Oh, a little jump party? A little lantern? Oh, you've seen the new, the new uh, Odyssey lantern? I I actually, love, this is, like, super cool. That is super cool. I love that one. Shout out to Global Emotes. I, I, I like it better than the... $500 uh, emote, but... Firework. Pretty cool looking. $500? Yeah. Come on, Kevin. Oh, you oh can yeah. do it. No, you can... No, you... It's not... You don't get... <laughs> we don't... Is, is that a thing? <laughs> Are we doing Kevin that for Kevin emotes, too? stopped working. Are we doing that for emotes, no! too? I don't know, man. Wait. <laughs> Let's have some fun. I was trying to, Kevin. I, I'm really bad at it. I, I don't I don't understand fun. I broke. <laughs> I'm just trying to reboot. Thank you all for coming or whatever <laughs> you couldn't say. <laughs> uh, words. I feel like this is another one of those moments. Probably. Uh, Lass is picking up his red puff. So it's a uh, it's an uh, okay. All right. So a little bit of shadow cue. Oh yeah. So so Mike actually tweeted this earlier today that he was going to cosplay shadow cue. And what I thought is that he was gonna. Uh, have Hog at level 1 and invade the enemy's speed because that's what Shadow Q does in rank. Oh, it yeah, just yeah. pisses people and off. An, and an SPL. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really annoying. Yeah. I mean, course. it's super good when it works, but it's really annoying. But no, he's, he's running Aphrodite. Okay. Oh, we're just fighting. We're just fighting. There's no way Dare to Care walks away from this No, he's one. dead. First blood. It's an Arachne versus an Osiris. It's an Arachne versus an Anubis. <laughs> and a very, very questionable Yacht's portal there. He was trying to get it on the ground. <laughs> uh, it's so hard on those corners. It's so hard to play Anubis. Look at him. poor guy. He's like grasping hands. <laughs> and then your jungler dies at level one. Is he? Is he? At least he's not purple pot Anubis. Last is like this feels like ranked. Dare to care is feeding at level one. How am no, I gonna? How am I gonna? How am I gonna win with Anubis when my jungler feeds? Well, you know, Anubis, he's the kind of god that, uh, in <laughs> theory, should be very good late game. But oh, poor, poor Dare to care. Oh my. <laughs> This is like uh, <laughs> it's like the DM Brandon show, yeah. <laughs> I just want to see them repeatedly kill him every time he tries to walk to lane. Oh, Lassus, not going to die from there. I don't think not enough mana for Unstable Vortex. Or it was just used. This game's going to go like 59 minutes. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fighting nonstop, though. So Chalk Thor versus Rom Aphrodite <laughs> Kevin. I d Who are you going to edge to here? Um... Probably, I, kill potential. It's Rom Aphrodite is the answer to that question. Kill put, uh, put it this way, right? L8 has to all in one of these players and kill them. And if they don't, they lose lane. That, that's what it, they literally just have to just both go on Zatman or Afro and just kill them. Before level five, which means they have like one wave. Basically. Oh, okay, Omega. Joust boys. The solo kill on Hebo. That is a Joust boys matchup too. There to care, somehow level four. Mid camps. Somehow level four still. They lost both mid camps. The original ones, right? I guess they got the spawns. Judgment Tether. The last is forced to run away from the spiders. We'll get a stun. A little bit of poke. Poke was the word I meant to say there. Um, yeah, but, you know, Solon and Hebo. Not very good. No. No, he's not. He's two levels behind Solon on her, which is okay. It's mediocre. It's a, it's a mediocre solo laner versus a not-so-great solo laner. Basically, Matt Yankee still trying to hit level five here. But now that he has his title surge on that Kibo, he'll be a little bit better off. He'll be safer at the very least. Mm. I don't think he has any kill potential on Omega unless Omega outplays. What is he playing the Surfer Kibo skin? Uh, let's take a look. I believe that's one of the the rare. It is the only the unbanned. Only allowed skin. The only allowed skin, yes. Because uh, I think like the targeter. 
Yeah, the, it's the like, top you can't of his like head is much higher in his base skin, and it's hard. It is harder to see the water spout at uh, like really close proximities. Unrelinquished probably doesn't even have it. This is probably like the first time he's ever played Hebo. Actually, no, he was a mid player. He's played it before, I'm sure. A lot of uh, a lot of professional players started at their careers as uh, like the top stop Hebos. The best. Best Omega. It's just like the original. I'm just gonna beat you. Yep. Oh man, Mathari taking a lot of poke. Here comes uh, Unrelinquished, Osiris. more than likely dead here. Actually gets out of the Judgment Tether just barely, and Derdicare poked out. Well, this is after the Water Carpet buff, right? Yes. Yeah, so. So now your team is immune to slows. Inside of the Inside Water Carpet. Inside of the Water yeah. Carpet, yes. Well, here we go. Up into the sky, we'll go Med Yankee. He's going to dive, Derdicare. Oh, he can't see him. Well, this is just awkward. Is this is just awkward. Maybe he's using an Xbox controller. Maybe. It's real hard to hit those. Polar Bear Mike <laughs> rotating around. Trying to help out Lass. Polar Bear Mike actually higher level than Lassus right now. There it is. They're even enough. That man versus uh, Vesalius. Maybe he'll find a solo kill on Chuck. Like Vesalius will solo kill someone yeah, on yeah, Chuck yeah, and yeah. not a hunter. Well, it's it's uh, you know it's pretty tough. Just, this to, is opportunity, right? To that, lose that lane is Chuck. It's, it's Chuck's pretty safe, right? I mean, you're as not going to be able to like, really do anything about the fact that he's just going to farm for free forever against you as the Rom. But it's really unlikely that either of you kill each other. Oh, actually, Derdicare rotating over, trying to secure his own attack speed, or Zatman's attack speed, and Vesalius looks like he wants to man up and fight, gets stunned out by the Judgment Tether, and he's just going to have to back up. Metheria invading red buff, Polar Bear Mike trying to defend it. High octane match here. Oh, yeah. What's what's kind of funny is that this is one of, like, Elite's <laughs> better early games, hasn't it, Ben? Matt, Matt, Matt Yankee just tried to hammer over the wall, but you can't hammer over the middle anymore. Like, they've gotten a few good invades. I mean, granted, it's kind of clowny, and now they're going to get abused for it a little bit, but they, they got two really early kills on the jungler and a couple of invades. Pro probably their best, like, super early game, like, pre two minutes, yeah. but uh, they, typically Elevate's actually a team that can fight mid uh, early game. Heading into, like, eight, nine, ten minutes is when you really start to see them start falling apart. They, they aren't farming efficiently, they aren't team fighting efficiently. Uh, Eager's just kind of going to walk away with this. Oh, laser dog. Using those lasers. Uh, and Eager now take the first real lead of the game with that Gold Fury. Yeah, about 1,200. Yeah, a little bit. A little under 2K. That's okay. That's a fine lead. It's a fine lead for the Lazy Dog. Well, the thing about Anubis is, like, he's just worthless after 25 minutes. What what actives are is is Lassus going to go? Blink beats three. Oh, is that Matt silenced out? No. Well, 16. Thir 16 times now Vesalius has been soloed out in the Smite Pro League. At some point... Whoa. Oh, man. Adura almost shut you up. All right, oh, they're on. going. There we go. Can't miss this time, buddy. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, God. Come on. Okay. Oh, the back off put him into range. Oh, man. Zap, zap, Zap's mad at Mike for that one. He's like, oh, come yeah. on, man. I'm mad at Mike for that one. <laughs> uh, this stun, though, saved Zap, to be fair. That's true. He Would've saved him and killed it. him. So I guess but he made sure to, to secure the powers. kill. Uh-oh. Oh my. Metheria diving real deep. His ultimate's Flail. down. And Flail. Uh, yeah, the afterlife? Just, Flail. That's, hey, that's hey, hey, hey. finding a kill, and, and, and Eager kind of. What just happened to the bug? Rolling with this one. She used to be picked. Um. Then we. Did, is it just because Weekend gave up on her? Probably. I mean, Anister still plays her. He's played her twice, two or three times now yeah. uh, in the fall split, and he likes her for early pressure. But I think a lot of, I think a lot of the instances where you would have seen Arachne have kind of transitioned into Naja because Naja is a little bit safer Naja. Naja and can help set up your team. Laser dog, lasering. Oh, Got him. Matt Yankee, not able to get out. Got to throw that hammer to the right so that he can't see where you're going. I think. Nice to be able to take that one down. Last is. Pushing the snowball along. Bancroft's talent first item here onto the Anubis, as per usual. Like that lifesteal? You are only good at one thing, and that is standing still and doing damage. And you take a lot of damage while doing it, too. Yeah, so. Oh, Bancroft we got the silence. Early. Can you get the, the axe? Just barely threads the needle. Beat. Oh, pull over Mike, knocked him into it. Birds. Oh. Last lives. Salius dies. Zapman snipes out a Duro. This is how this game is going. Well, here we go. The old Osiris versus Hebo matchup, the, the classic. I'm All right, here we uh, go. Matt Yankee try <laughs> they are <s> <laughs> They are trying so hard to kill Lassus. Matt Yankee will be able to pick that one up, but Dare to Care finds Matt Yankee in return on on His oh, ultimate oh, is down, so there wow. is it's gonna be hard for him to find a kill. Polar Bear Mike might just kill him. Mm. By himself. No, Zatman will with the rotation. 
Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Unreal was showing well, off that hubwa. That's uh, some stuff's happening. Adero rotating in. Actually, could find Moy Mike here. Oh, he missed. Nice juke there by Mike. Omega souls out the new solo in the area. In the meantime, it seems like like the, the game is happening, and then there's just like this horrible, endless void of death <laughs> over on the right side, where anybody that goes over there gets soloed by Omega. <laughs> <laughs> Unrelinquished has been soloed, and now, uh, yeah, he's 2 0 2. Yeah. He soloed Unrelinquished. Unrelinquished said, All right, I'm done. Materia, you come solo lane. Materia goes over there. Materia gets soloed lane, or soloed. Uh, and it seems like Met Yankee is the, the next victim. This to is Omega. like the ideal Omega game. Right? He's probably so. He's pleased. jousting. He's literally he's like, playing yeah. joust with a team. Gets a series of 1v1s. No one pays enough attention to him. He's on a carry. Somehow it worked. And now he's just, like, going to happily stay over here. I, I doubt I, he leaves this lane. Oh, no. Maybe once. Going to the Phoenix. He's just going to the Phoenix? Yeah, I think he's just staying in the same all the way to Phoenix. It's possible. Come over and fight him. It's possible. As long as Elevate continues to uh, to send him things to do. His, big, his biggest threat is boredom at this point. Which but is a pretty big uh, obstacle. Oh, my. Glass is on target there. He will die, as as Anubis is wont to do. Dare to care might die as well. Mm, Mitheria over the top. This should be an easy knockup for Hubwa. No, he already used it, so it's down here. Uh, Spider missed. out. Wow. Elevate like Knock don't. Out, please. Water hands. Okay, no one hands. on Elevate wanted to tank that. Actually, giving time for uh, Omega is rotated. Vesalius is probably going to die here. Back off. Oh, oh, he did it early. He did it early. Mm, I hate to see that happen. Nice, right, Zaman. Oh, he's just an old. He's like, you know what? I'm done. Tired of rolling. There you go. No, no third shot needed. Omega, yeah, he may have. Uh, oh, yeah. he overstayed his welcome. Yeah. He should have sucked those soul lane like he, he said. He should have just stayed in the soul lane. He got bored. He would have got the tier two. Unless that, I mean, they oh, rotated. They got, they got the Unless Elevate rotated. Oh. Polar Bear Mike, somehow, is like the core damage dealer on this team. That's a kill. He's, he's actually uh, the second highest damage in the game right now. Right oh, behind Adura. there. Adura walks him down. Adura's right ahead of Enough Adura. of that. I'm a Masters player. Let's, uh, I, Polar Bear Mike is too. Is anybody in this game not a Masters player? Raise your hand. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure they're all, yeah, all masters. I, I'd imagine I was looking are. across. I'm like, I'm, uh, the only one I'm not sure about is Unrelinquished, but I'm pretty sure he's masters now. I would imagine he is. Uh, Lassus having a, uh, I don't know, respectable game. I, I don't know. I, you can't really call anything respectable in this game. <laughs> it's kind of just like, who's just going to keep fighting? It's Clown Town. It, it's Clown Town. It's who's getting soloed by Omega next. When is Vesalius getting soloed next? Last is caught out here. Actually, maybe actually the big sky. Oh my. Oh, the oh snipe. Oh my. All right, Elevate showing signs of life here. Doing work. Met Yankee, he'll make it out. Maybe. Kinda. No, Bowler Bear Mike, he's a carry. Bop. I would have taunted there. I know you would have. You know, like when the, the birds are ticking down, there's just nothing they can do about it. Just let them know you know. Unrelinquished, missing that knockup. No ultimate available. Oh, actually. Oh, okay. Not gonna be enough. The Man, Yankees to the back. Oh no, that's wrong. Oh, that's yeah. I was like, how was that Thoral's been back up? I, th I thought so too. I was I was confused. Birds? Oh, we got clipped. What, what confused me was that it's at the red buff, right? So I'm like, oh, that's that's elevated. Dare to care. Oh my. Is he gonna get out of this? Yeah, he is. All used early by Polar Bear Mike. Aduro, low mana, but I don't I don't think Polar Bear Mike has the damage to lock him down. Dare to care and Zatman. I'm pretty sure they're on Team Elevate based on their positioning. Like they've just kind of been in Elevate's jungle. Got him. Crippled. He has no mana anyway. He's down. Vasily is trying to kill Zatman here. He's going to get slowed, knocked at, knocked back. Excuse uh, me. Birds. But look at Matt Yankee. Yeah. Matt Yankee's coming back off of spawn. Double tap doesn't connect. And Omega is solo. Oh, he's backing. <laughs> he's just standing there sad. Oh, Matt could steal this. Oh, Finds still one. Cares life. Berserker's Barrage. Who's going to get it? Nice stun out. And that's going to go to Eager. Uh, 5k gold lead for First them. Matt Yankee's going to fall. Last is credited. Look into my eyes. Uh, Metheria done with the soul lane for now, it seems. Going to be a jungler again. Chasing down Zapman. Actually slowed. Uh, stunned out here. Back off. Is it up? Ultimate. Zap should die. Juked him. Birds should die. Sprint. Oh, should die. Zap's not going to die. He's, he will not Metheria's die. is going to die. Oh, okay, no. Uh, we didn't see Unrelinquished there. But now he has to deal with on her. Oh, look at those. Look at him. He's just chunking him away. And leap. And Desert Fury. Also immune to silence because of that CC immunity. Actually, he's going to actually fight Vesalius here. Nice knockback. Oh, he's going for the kill. Oh. Is he going to escape a Duro too? Oh, I think, I think so. The heals. 
They're so good. Oh, Enduro yeah. doesn't have the damage to finish off Omega, but Met Yankee does. Yeah, when Met Yankee comes in, that's all she wrote. I'm pretty sure Polar Bear Mike's just been running around and hasn't Has Polar Bear Mike died? Yeah, one time. 7-2-8 seven, and, seven, and eight now on Aphrodite. He had seven kills. Why does he not play Aphrodite more? I don't know. Zap. Oh. Come on, last is target prioritization there. Gotta kill the honest first. Nah. Nah. He, he needs to like one tick. Nah. Like, bzz, and then kill no, the other No, I know. He should have. Uh, can we take a look at... Don't do it. I don't even know what I want to take a look at. Mm, time spent dead. <laughs> no, that's... I'm not Brandon. I didn't say go to the graphs. I said let's take a look at it. There's a difference. There's a difference. Uh, yeah, time spent dead, though. Pop that up there. Matt Yankee and Unrelinquished taking the most trips to the base. Yeah, Matt Yankee's kind of like, he's been finding kills. He's got six, although he's 14, but he just kind of goes in to kill Lassus, who's super low, and then dies in response to the three people around Lassus. Pretty sure we've seen that story like four times now. That's kind of the story of Anubis. It's the only story you can really tell. Like, he does well, a lot I of killed damage. somebody and forced him to kill me, and then they died for it. Anubis. Oh, man, 16. I did. That's 16. It didn't even really like. Does that count? 17. Oh, that's 17 apparently. Well, do we count the do we count the Omega? Because I don't. Did I, I really didn't actually do anything. I want to count. That. If you're in the area, if you're no. in the area, can count. No. Okay. Well, how did you get that stat? Uh, I Killed had without assist. Yes. Okay. So there's like some probably like small instances where it was like he was trying to back and got caught by a player, but for the most part, it's pretty accurate. He was killed 17 times without assist. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. But I I I most of them are solo kills. From what I've seen. He has not had the best time. Oh, Fire Giant. That's being taken. Oh. That man having his way. Yeah, he first picked Rom. He's like, I'm playing it's Rom. It's his birthday. It's his birthday. They, they won. They guaranteed second seed. And he wanted to play this whatever god he wanted. And Omega right into the Fatalis on his on her. Uh, Vis <laughs> Vesalius is level 11 right now here. He's going to die. Gonna be to Anubis more than likely. No, oh, oh, yeah. And Last has got that one. And in hand takes that one away. Duro's gonna be uh, counter jungling in the meantime. Unrelinquished gonna die here, as well. Mm, Alts away. Crushing wave. Doing enough. Just barely for now. He he kind of walked in a wave and back. Duro got the enemy speed buff, so there's that. <laughs> look at his movements. Oh, look at that. Look at how fast he is. Five fifty six. Hand to the carpet. Oh my. Thor? <laughs> Your man couldn't even see. He couldn't even see. That is not a good spot to all from, unfortunately. But there he was level 10, here. I think, like okay. eight minutes ago. Boulder Mike has just gotten way too much. Oh, he's just doing whatever he wants. I actually want to see him play this guy in, like, a, a competitive Brazil. match, right? Where it's not just, like, people just kind of, like, having fun. I want to see, like, this in... If you are just joining us, guys, this is game number two of a set in which Eager needed to win one, and Elevate was already in uh, locked in the last place, in eighth place in this split. So game number two is really all for fun, and they're putting on a show for you, the lovely viewer. Anubis? some of the all-time favorites like Anubis and Aphrodite. And Omega just playing Joust, really. Omega playing Joust. He solo two players, sat in his lane for most of the time. Now he has Fatalis. And Teleport. Eager uh, aggressing onto this Phoenix here. Elevate gonna try and hold. You can see Unrelinquished, level 14, gonna get blown oh. up. No ult available, and Lass is having his way on Gubis for now. Uh, Adaro forced to ult away. Met Yankee, the only one left to defend this Phoenix. It's gonna fall more than likely here. Omega's in position. Matt Yankee taking to the sky again. I don't know if they're, oh, four members of Eager grouped up, but I don't think he has the damage to kill a single one of them. No, but I mean, that's normal. Like, you don't, even with the big, Passive. I mean, unless that's really early. Vesalius, is he just pure damage on his chalk? Yeah. Okay, he is. That's why. He has transcendence. It's not even stacked. <laughs> what, yeah, how many stacks? At thirty-two. Twelve. 12? Is it twelve? I think it's thirty-two. I can't tell. I can't tell. Uh, oh, mid phoenix was taken as well. Metheria yeah, two just two chaos. Met Metheria continuing his role as the new solo laner for Elevate. Going to be split pushing a tier two tower. Uh, Titan falls in the meantime. And uh, Elevate, they're gonna. Take both losses there. Eager finding their, their the one win they needed. Having a little bit of fun for game two. Well, we have a play of the game this oh, game. Oh, I don't. Is this like Omega soloing someone? I don't know. Let's see it. The slow-mo. Okay, the rap. 
It's, I'm pretty sure Matt Yankee dies here. Oh, is this the one where he teleports away, like, right into the same line? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Lassus. <laughs> I don't think he missed a tick of damage. I don't think he did either. A little bit of a, a panic teleport there, it looked like, on the Thor. Uh, just, I think he was done no matter what. <laughs> You write something down for me, Kevin? Uh, no, I would, but I just <laughs> threw my pen. Thank you for calling that I'm out. I'm a draft. Top performers. Let me see Team Eager. Uh, yeah, no surprise there. No one. Uh, Polar, Polar Bear, Bear Mike. Mike. 47 points today. He, uh, he was, was killing it on the Afro. Good day to pick PBM. Maybe maybe Zappa let him play uh, Aphrodite. Nah. No? No. That man won't let him? That man was like, if I, I, I wonder if like, Polar Bear Mike has like any say or it's just like, you're playing Athena. And he's like, okay. Yeah. And then maybe a Geb. Maybe, yeah, and someday we'll give you a mirror. <laughs> If, if you're yeah, lucky, like if you're yeah. lucky, right? <laughs> if we're just like, we're kind of done. But uh, they're the Alpha Draft top performers, guys. It is, uh, I guess, the last kind of moment you have to to bet on uh, on this split here. If mm -hmm. you want to do your uh, your daily fantasy, Alpha Draft, final day coming up tomorrow. One more set today. Lassus on the line from Eager. Lassus, congratulations in securing second place. Hey, thank you very much. You're welcome. So uh, what, what was the thought process going into, into game two there? What, what, how in-depth was your strategy on that one? Uh, well, you know, we, did, we weren't trying to troll or anything, but we did acknowledge the fact that we were happy and celebrating, you know, attaining second seed. And, you know, a lot of us wanted to play these gods in the season, but kind of never had the courage to. So, you know, a lot of us were given permissions by everybody on the team to <laughs> kind of play what we wanted to. Yeah, no, first no, no. Rom because it was Steve's birthday? Pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> happy birthday to the big man, by the way. Every, everyone's like, yeah, well, I want to play gods that, you know, I don't really get to play, and then Zatman picks Rom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no kidding. He's a man of simple tastes. Basically. We were hoping for a Rob in that game. Yeah. Um, but let's, uh, let's, let's chat quickly here. <laughs> not not even in that game will Rob be playing. Even, yeah. uh, but um, realistically looking forward to the land coming up, guys, coming in as second seed. Uh, pretty important as it puts you on the opposite side of the bracket from Envious. Although you guys have had more success than others against them. What do you think about uh, how North America shaped up here at the end as you guys have just played your last game? Uh, it honestly turned out kind of to how do we expected it. We we honestly did expect Cloud9 to come back to the top and even possibly securing second seats. We're always prepared for the worst. And, you know, we're just we're very happy with the second seat position. And, you know, we're just we're kind of waiting to see what happens with these uh, new games with Denial and, you know, trying to get in, etc. And we're just we're excited for the land and, you know, just ready to respect and play the game. How do you think you stack up against Epsilon? Yeah, it's always tough to say, man, because EU and NA always have so much different mindsets, and you just never know who's going to come out of the woodwork with something just wonky to, you know, to what they're used to. So uh, I do want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, we're only going to be seeing one EU versus NA at Super Regionals yeah. for the wild card slot. Um, always a potential for anyone to realistically drop to that. Uh, but talking about NA versus EU, NA has traditionally... Uh, been, I want to say the better region, but had more success against Europe. Do you feel like that's the same heading into Super Regionals and Worlds, or do you think it's a lot closer now heading into Season 2, at the end of Season 2? I mean, I think it's going to be a lot closer. Just It's scary, on honestly, how much this game has evolved, like the players itself, because, you know, there's always these dominating teams when the game first released, and now every team is just so on par with one another, and you, just, you can't even predict who's going to win or who's going to do better against another, so I don't know. All right, last question for you, Lassus, is uh, you guys banned Zhang Kuei both games. That good or just what was the thought? Uh, well, we honestly feel like he's very strong right now. He got buffed almost to that of a tank. And, yeah. you know, when you have a tank doing he's so much massive AOE damage. Yeah, yeah it's, it's ridiculous, honestly. And we just did not want to go against him. We've had uh, trouble against him. If you recall, against Enemy, they pulled him out against us yeah. twice. And, you know, I don't know, twice, I think. But, you know, they, they pooped on us because of it. And... You know, we just we kind of realized that we weren't ready to take it on yet or deal with it and didn't want to risk our second seed slot. Well, thanks very Fair much. Point. And yeah, back to the drawing board and how to deal with John Quay going into land for Eager and the boys. Congratulations on securing your second seed. And that does thanks, it for, uh, for me and Kevin here on the desk for the moment. I'll be joined by Brandon here for Team Solomid versus Denial. Uh, the last set, and this is this is actually a very important game. Uh, EU, it's kind of a winner you're in for Mirrodon's first Dignitas, mm -hmm. but Denial, they need to 2-0 TSM here and then hope that enemy can beat Cognitive in a 2-0. So, Two important games for Denial. Not a clinching scenario, but they uh, they have to do this to keep their dream alive. Can they 2 TSM? Find out next. The denial coming up in just a moment. See you then. Yes, you're very quite tough.
always having bad luck you think you're going crazy look up there's a new life waiting your head's buried in the sand you've been dealt the wrong hand can't imagine how you feel only you know that it's real don't look back just can't 